Okay, hello students again. Inshallah, we will continue the, our lesson which is basic account. The second, the second page talks about, again, including arts in the curriculum. Uh, and here we have like a proposal. Proposal again, we have an opposer on the first page, then we have a proposal. Now we have another proposal. He says, I am supporting the motion because I believe that the arts help the students to learn more effectively in other subjects. Do not fall into the trap of thinking that art is just leisure time entertainment. According to scientific research, learning to read music and play an instrument especially help to develop the brain and increase mental capacity. So you will be able to use your brain creatively by having arts. This is what this person is saying. He says here, active participation in the arts gives us a lifelong appreciation and understanding of them. Then we will have to uh, love our, what our life is all about. It not only teaches us to appreciate the skills of others, but also gives us a chance to discover our own. Not just our life, but we are able to understand others' lives. This is what this writer is saying. We don't always know what we can do until we try. Furthermore, furthermore, students with a teacher in non-verbal communication have the opportunity to excel and all students have the chance to develop confidence in expressing themselves. Okay, our opponent, our opponent uh, has told you that students can learn about and practice the arts later in life, but this argument doesn't hold water. Later is too late. School leavers should be able to think creatively. The world has enough imitators who have learned facts but never learned to think outside of the box. So, including art helps you to think outside of the box, to think creatively, to produce new ideas, to get to give the world more more life inside the world. Who see innovation as a threat and in opposing it destroy the new shots of fresh thinking and prevent progress? And here we have like a conclusion, Khatami here. To sum up, the arts prepare students for lifelong learning by opening up their minds to new and flexible ways of thinking. They carry this with them into further studies and ultimately their professions with the greater likelihood of success in their lives and careers. I support the motion. We are not proposing that the arts should not be a part of life. Indeed, they should be. But the arts can be done, in fact, are better done out of school. This is where the arts really belong from. Those students who are generally interested, it is unreasonable to insist on arts in the curriculum. Many children want to draw, play music, or perform in public so they feel a failure. How do we think that will help their creativity and confidence? Providing the arts adequately as part of the curriculum costs extra money in teacher time and in resources. This is simply affordable when these are the priorities. Providing modern facilities for learning, fitting exam subjects into to their curriculum, preparing the students for essential exams. <coughs> the last two paragraphs. Our opponents have argued that learning about the arts helps students to appreciate them and develop their own talents. Let me point out that often there are no clear standards in the arts. What is good art, critics argue endlessly. In addition, studying a musical instrument can lead students into popular music where there are no standards at all. The last paragraph, it's like a summary, a conclusion of what has just been said here. في the last paragraph. In summary, it's a tough world, although we would all like to develop artistic ability in school. There is any time and we can do it out of school. Nobody is preventing this. 
Nobody is standing in the view of talented individuals. The fact is that not all students have these talents, but all students need to pass exams. That must be the focus and the, that must be where time is concentrated for these reasons. I oppose the motion. So thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Just understand some general ideas of the text. Thank you and see you next time.